The skipper wanted me to be skipper. If anything happened to the skipper, and I'm gonna be skipper, because that's the way a skipper wanted it. <laughs> Any questions? Well... <laughs> We're gonna have a search for the skipper, right now. Billy Gunner, are you frightened? No. You're not? I'm too scared to be frightened. <laughs> Don't you feel anything surging in your blood? Oh, I do. I do. I think my arteries are hardening. <laughs> kind of bend it like that. You think I can play it? Sure, why not? Here. Well, I don't have much of an ear for music. You don't need an ear, just a knee. <laughs> hey! Oh, Gilligan, you're wonderful. <laughs> Well, Mr. Kincaid, football was my game in high school. I played the line. Oh, what position? No position. I was the line. <laughs> I'll never forget. You got a pretty good backfield, too. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Gilligan. Gilligan, I can't seem to find a coconut that's big enough for my cap. You should have gone to the other side of the island and got a jumbo-sized one. <laughs> well, I don't think that's very funny. All I meant was that you're a big guy and you, you got a big head. Gilligan. And a big heart. Hey, folks. The propeller's all fixed and we can leave the first thing in the morning. Yeah, it works just great. Watch. Gilligan, come back here with that. Bring it back. I sure hope this gets us rescued. Oh, I do too, Gilligan. I can hardly wait to get to my favorite restaurant and my favorite steak sandwich. Your favorite steak sandwich? Yes, a filet between two top sirloins. I'll order my favorite too, a chocolate-covered hamburger. Yeah. Strawberry? <laughs> Down breaks, the cradle will fall. Down will come baby, cradle and all. I am very suspicious. There is something rotten in Denmark. What do we care? We don't go anywhere near Denmark. Did your father ever beat you? Yes. He did? All the time. And your mother let him? She used to beat me, too. Oh, you poor thing. How else could I learn to play checkers? Here again, will you be serious? I want all of you to know that the attache case is missing, and until it is recovered, you are all suspects. Does that mean none of us can leave the island? In the meantime, I suggest we all watch Ginger run through the disappearing cabinet trick and make sure it really works. Oh, that's a good idea. I've got a better suggestion, Professor. I suggest we put Gilligan in there and turn it on full blast. <laughs> Gilligan's really impossible. He certainly is annoying. Or to use a precise scientific term, pest. Well, I guess Gilligan does cause nothing but trouble. Even Marianne. All right, Gilligan, hand it over. You have to fight me for it. Oh. <laughs> What happened, Professor? Why, it was your sneeze, Gilligan. My sneeze? Yes, you sneezed so hard, your fillings blew out and hit the ceiling. Yeah, and it blew the monkey up in the air and solved the problem. <laughs> What's wrong, Gilligan? Nobody said Gesundheit. Now comes the sad part. Sad part? Saying goodbye. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, Skipper. Goodbye, Gilligan. You're coming with me. However, I'll need a volunteer from the audience. Oh, I volunteer. I'm a human being. Good, Gilligan. Get in. Okay, Gilligan. Now, when I say vanish, you go through that little trap door. And when I say reappear, you come back again. Okay? Got it? Goodbye, Ginger. Okay. I would say it was a geological phenomenon caused by volcanic activity beneath the Earth's surface, resulting in the concentration of heat in a specific location. That makes sense to me. There's only one thing I don't understand. Uh, what's that? How come the ground got so hot underneath our feet? <laughs> so I sure do wish it was Halloween. Why? Because we could have all kinds of fun, Skipper. We could go trick-or-treating and scare the girls and bob for apples. You know my friend Skinny Mulligan? He was the best apple bobbler ever. He held the record for keeping his head underwater. Two hours and 26 minutes. <laughs> Gilligan, that's ridiculous. How could Skinny keep his head underwater for two hours and 26 minutes? He cheated. <laughs> he cheated? Hey, I found a fitting. Gilligan! Don't hammer, turn it! Use your head, use your head. Use my head? <laughs> This is the 
last blade. Let's hope it cuts through the metal casing. Oh. Oh, no. Another blade? It hardly scratched the surface. I don't think there's anything on this island hard enough to cut through it. There must be something. Oh, use your head, Gilligan. I don't think it's hard enough. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, son. Where's your mustache? <laughs> what? My dad wears a mustache. A gentleman on the one hand, there may be nothing to worry about. Good. But on the other hand... I knew it. It's always the other hand to get in trouble. Julian, would you be quiet and let the professor talk? Now, these meteors travel millions of miles through space, through the stratosphere, the ionosphere, the radiation belt, picking up all sorts of strange rays. That's why it's glowing. Oh, my gosh. What are we going to do about it? I have a suggestion. Oh, what? <laughs> Going, I was just standing. So why are you always standing where other people are going? Why are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at her. Well, why are you yelling at me? Because. Well, that's not a good reason. Well, it's good enough reason for you. <laughs> now when there's a full moon, he's going to turn into a vampire. It's nonsense. It's not nonsense. I saw a movie once, and this bat bit this guy, and he turned into a vampire, and he slept in a coffin. And when the full moon came up, he used to rise out of the coffin, and he spread his cape and... <laughs> Hey, what's the matter, Gilligan? I scared myself. All right, all right. All right. Just stop right there. Gilligan, it was only a movie. Yeah, but I saw it three times. It always came out the same way. Well, when are we going to change positions? I've been out in front for over an hour. We're doing all right. You made up the schedule. For the first hour, you plow and I pull. You're right. Okay, we'll switch. Now, I'll plow and you pull. That's better. <laughs> all right, Gilligan, here. You take the stuff. Put it in there, and I'll wait here. Okay, Skipper. Wait a minute. How come I have to go in there? What about you? All right, Gilligan. You go in, and I'll wait here. That's better. <laughs> There's Gilligan. Well, well, if it isn't Merlin, the magician. No, it isn't, Professor. It's me, Gilligan. Well, what have you got there, Gilligan? Uh, souvenirs. I got these nifty rocks and a swell ashtray and these swell bird eggs. Hi, Mrs. Howell. Uh, hello, Hi, Gilligan. Professor. Gilligan? Nice day, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, lovely, beautiful. yes. Lovely day. You look very pretty, Mrs. Howell. Oh, thank you, Gilligan. How very nice of you to notice. Uh, how do you think I look? Oh, dashing, dear. Absolutely dashing. Hey, Professor, uh, you notice anything different about me? Mm, nothing special, Gilligan. I'm bald! On the basis of circumstantial evidence, I'm afraid you're a prevaricator. Well, that's better than calling me a liar. Gilligan, that's what prevaricator means. I am not going to marry that native girl. The skipper, they don't want you. They want Gilligan. You hear that, Skipper? They don't want you. They want Gilligan. <laughs> Look! <laughs> well, Gilligan, don't just stand there daydreaming. Get to work. Skipper, I still think those wings would have worked. For a couple of seconds there, I felt lighter than air. No, with that head of yours, you are lighter than air. Now, get to work. Check the line on the paddle wheel. Well, you know what I feel like? You know what you look like? <laughs> you can never mind, just paint. No, Skip, you're not the dancer type. You're more like a sailor. Do the sailor pose, Skip, like that. Yeah, now lift the other foot. Gilligan, if I lift the other foot, I'll fall on the ground. Well, you never know, Skipper. Why don't you just try? Just lift it up and give it a little... Gilligan, will you get behind that easel and paint? Yeah, I'll paint you for memory, Skipper. Yeah, you... Yes, sir. for memory. Well, Gilligan, this is where we're going to spend the rest of our lives. Well, maybe we won't live that long. I was in this movie once, and there was this couple on this big boat, and the captain of the boat married them. It's too bad we don't have a captain of a boat. <laughs> Gilligan, what is it you think I look like? A mermaid? Oh, no, Skipper. A mermaid's got a long tail. <laughs> yeah, you're the captain of the minnow. Mr. Howell's broke? <sighs> well, well, don't you think we should go tell him? Oh, not now, Gilligan. In the morning. I mean, you, you can wake a man up in the middle of the night and tell him he's rich, but you can't wake him up and tell him he's poor. That's right. Skipper? <sighs> yes, Gilligan? Is it okay if I turn the radio back on again? You're gonna, will you go to bed? Ginger said she won't go back with us even after we're rescued. She will not go back to Hollywood. I'm afraid this is serious. When Hecuba laughed at Ginger's acting, she became emotionally disturbed and psychologically maladjusted. Not only that, she's upset. <laughs> if only Hecuba hadn't laughed at her. But Skipper, I got a swell idea. And if you tell me your idea, I'll tell you mine and we can work on it together. 
No thanks, little buddy. Oh, I get it. You want to keep the million dollars for yourself, huh? Oh, that sure is nice, big buddy. If I had a million dollars, I'd share it with you. Gilligan, I would gladly share my million dollars with you. Oh, yeah? Yes, but now, <laughs> it's just I don't want you to help me with my idea because, Gilligan, you're a one-man disaster area, and I don't want to be part of your next disaster. <laughs> what one buddy to say to another buddy? No, we're going to give you a big party. You've learned your lessons well, and tomorrow night you're going to be officially launched in society. You're a very, very lucky young man. <laughs> Hey, did you hear the one about the movie star who was divorced so many times she got custody of a judge? <laughs> yeah, I sure am lucky, all right. Good old Walter. He really scared the spider away. <laughs> I should have thought of that. You know, birds are a spider's deadliest enemy, even if the spider is gargantuan. Or even if it's big. Please, Walter, do us just one more favor. Gilligan! Mm. You just drank that Keptobora extract. I know it. Well? Now I've got five pies. I took my oath as guardian of peace, I vowed to... <laughs> yeah, here it is. Yeah. Oh, oh, that hurt. Oh, my karate pinky. Gilligan, that's not the only thing that's gonna hurt. Now, give me that key so I can let these people out of jail. Nothing doing. Gilligan? You said go by the book, and I went by the book. Gilligan, you leave me and give me that key. No, sticks and stones and break my bones. Yeah, well, that's not that... the only thing that's gonna hurt you. Now, I intend to get that key if I have to shake it out of you. <laughs> there it is. Ginger! Oh. What's wrong, Gilligan? Oh, the professor said you were taking a sun bath. So? You can open your eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> no, sirree. Open one. No. No. It... Oh. I learned a new trick in this magic book. You want to see it? No, you don't, Gilligan. You're not going to pull this tablecloth out. This is one meal I'm going to eat. I'm not going to pull the tablecloth out. I can make the table rise. Sure you can. Yeah, I can. Watch. I command you to rise. I did it. Gilligan, this is impossible. It is? Yes. You never should have said that. Gilligan, you come down from there. Skipper, I've been watching the birds fly. It's real easy. Gilligan, come down here right now. OK, here I come. <laughs> Gilligan, you can't fly. It's impossible. I can? No! <laughs> Gilligan, Gilligan, little buddy, are you all right? Why did you have to say that? Impossible? Why did you have to say that? <laughs> I think I'll never see Kansas again. Or California, or North Dakota, or North Nebraska, or South Carolina, or Oklahoma, or Texas. Cut or that out, Gilligan. Well, I'm all for jumping them. There's only three of them, and there's four of us. Use your head, Skipper. Just one poison dart, and it would be three against three. Yeah, and another poison dart, three against two. And another poison dart, three against one. And another poison dart, Gilligan! None. There must be some way of doing this without anyone getting hurt. Knowing Gilligan, that ticket could be any place. No, it couldn't, Skipper. It's not in my pocket because I looked. Oh, great. Where else couldn't it be, Gilligan? Well, let's see. It couldn't be in that tin box buried down at the base of that big palm tree by the lagoon. I didn't know there was a tin box buried under that tree. There isn't. That's why it couldn't be there. I'm not sure what his motive is, but just to be on the safe side, I propose we send the boat out first with a dummy aboard. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not going out there alone. Gilligan, stop that. But what if it's safe? Well, in that case, we retrieve the boat and sail for home. Oh, but if he's washing and there's only one dummy aboard. Oh, no. I said Gilligan. I wanted... Well, you can stop being desperate, Marianne. Someone is going to fly to Hawaii. They are? Who? The dummy. Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> I said the dummy is going to fly to Hawaii. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not flying any place. How'd I get in this thing? Get me out of here. I'm not going to stay here. Get out of here. Take, take this jet back. It's the rescue plane. Set up the mirror. Set up the mirror. Oh, set, up, we set, set up the mirror. That's it. Oh, boy, this is what we've been waiting for. Start flashing the signal. Start flashing the signal. Oh, God! 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 Oh,
a little buddy. How about telling us who really won the contest? I already told you, Gladys. Come on, come on, we're friends. Just for the record, show us who won on points. No one, no one. Well, with all those notes you've been making, someone must have been ahead. Yeah. Let me see. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tic-tac-toe? We're all covered with tic-tac-toes. I didn't want you to say I lost every game. <laughs> well, phone booth or no phone booth, I guarantee you we'll be able to telephone for help. Gilligan, why don't you run and tell the others all about the good news? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The good news. The good news. What good news? <laughs> the good news about this telephone. Oh, that good news? Yes. yes. Where is the boat? Uh, on the beach on the other side of the lagoon. Skipper, we better get down there and see if it's seaworthy. Right. Now, the professor and I'll check the boat. You go back and tell the girls in the house the good news. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, shit. What good news? About the boat. Oh, yeah. Won't you try it just once more? You just don't seem to understand, do you? No, no, no. You got it, Skipper, but it goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, son. What's on your mind? What's on your lip? <laughs> Never mind. Now, what's on your mind, son? Skipper, where are your glasses? Your father wore glasses, too? As long as I can remember. Oh, goodbye, Gilligan. Uh, goodbye, Skipper, old goodbye, boy. Goodbye, Mr. Howell. Uh, Mrs. Howell. Goodbye, Mrs. Howell. Goodbye, Mr. Howell. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, Skipper. Goodbye, Gilligan. Now, Gilligan, come on. Oh, now, I let's keep go. forgetting. <laughs> Gilligan, is this going to be another one of your stupid suggestions? Uh-huh. Well, I don't want to hear it. Okay. Professor, if we build a raft and float at the lagoon, could he marry them? Say, that's an idea. As long as it's on water, I guess it's legal. Ah. Huh. I just asked the professor. I heard, and Gilligan. He said, I heard. And what do you say? What else can I say? We are gathered here today to unite this couple in holy matrimony. All right, we all think we've seen a ghost. But could it have been, say, uh, a patch of fog? Didn't look like fog to me. Me either. All right, what about a cloud? Or a white sheet? Well, I think it's possible, Professor. <laughs> Girls, have either of you noticed a sheet missing? Well, come to think of it, there is a sheet missing. It was gone from the clothesline a few days ago. And that was just about the time our ghost showed up. Well, perhaps that sheet blew off the line. Why, certainly, and it's been blowing around ever since. That's what we've all seen, just a plain old sheet. Right, Gilligan? Right, Skipper. A sheet with arms and legs and a voice that goes... <laughs> Therefore, find the sheet, and I think you'll have your ghost. Now, let me get this straight. You heard on the radio that the Howells really aren't married? The Howells aren't what? Well, as we say in Latin, unicus mesotatus. Yeah, what a mess. That means, uh, what a mess. <laughs> Like a charm, Mrs. Howell. Gilligan really thinks he looks better with his new nose. That's right, he believed every word. It's a lucky thing I'm such a good actress. Mm. Oh, that poor boy. You know, we've got to keep saying these things until he gets used to his new looks. Now run along, girls. We mustn't let Gilligan know our plan. It's cozy, isn't it? Yeah. You sure do look like Ginger. But I'm not Ginger. I'm me. <laughs> do you know what I want? You want a grape? <laughs> no. <clears throat> I want you to like me. I like you. I want you to like me a lot. I like you a lot. Gilligan, what I mean to say is uh, I'm a girl. You're a boy. I knew that the first time we met. Gilligan. I think we could make beautiful music together. So do I. You wait here, 
and I'll get my harmonica. No, I mean us. Huh? No. <laughs> All I can think about is a motorcycle. Will you stop mentioning that word motorcycle? With a sidecar and a siren. Gilligan, if I hear a motorcycle once... Blam, 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 blam. <laughs> Heavens to Keenan win. It was felt that this ultra-modern example of surrealism will bring back silent pictures. Well, whoever is responsible for this masterpiece, your prize is waiting. All you have to do is come to Khan and get it. You hear that? We won in the festival. First prize. Maybe it's a motorcycle. <laughs> doing there, little buddy? I'm burning the bush with the mine reading seeds. The, the seeds! The seeds! Oh! oh! That's smart. I burnt my little pinky. Did you burn all the seeds? Yep, the whole bush and everything. Oh. I suppose you think it's the dumbest thing I ever did. But we never fought and argued before we could read minds, and now that we can't read minds, maybe we could be friends again, huh? Okay. If everybody wants to yell at me for being a dumbbell, go ahead. Gilligan, for a guy who's always doing dumb things, when you do something smart, it's beautiful. Oh, please don't go. It's our duty. Oh, I won't let you go. I'm sorry, Ginger, but we are going. Now, goodbye, Professor, and goodbye, Marianne. And... Goodbye, and try to remember us as we were, not as we am. Oh, oh, Gilligan, I don't know what you're trying to say, but we love you. Goodbye, Gilligan. Skipper. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye, Ginger. Goodbye, Marianne. Goodbye, Skipper. Goodbye, Gilligan. <laughs> Gilligan, please, let's go. Oh. Bye. Bye. Hi, Dad. Son, how many times have I told you when you're talking to somebody, look them right in the eye? But Skipper, my dad was real short. I always looked down at him. <laughs> well, how's this? Dad, how'd you get here on the island? I've been waiting for you, son. Where have you been? Where's Mother? You Gilligan! Home sweet home. <laughs> what is it you're doing? Making you. That's supposed to be me? Only the bottom half. Well, come on, Gilligan. I'm not this big. Well, Skipper, you said to make it lifelike, remember? But I'm not that big, Gilligan. Sure you are. I am not. Sure you are. I am not, Gilligan. Sure you are. <laughs> Gilligan, for goodness sakes, I'm not that big. Yes, you are, Skipper. I am not, Gilligan. Yes, you are, Skipper. I am not. <laughs> Hi, Skipper. That sure was some party we had last night, huh? Yes, it was, Gilligan. You know something? I used to hate parties until I found out how much fun they were. Oh, yeah, they are fun, are No, we should have a party once a week. Well, certainly we should. Or how about twice a week? Or three times a week? Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? I just love parties. Oh, that'd be a lot of fun. You love parties. Yeah. Well, right now, I think you ought to get on the other end of this broom and clean up the mess. Why me? Well, you don't expect me to do it. After all, I'm the Skipper. <laughs> Boy, I sure do hate parties. <laughs>